Mr. Monk, Miss Teeger, I got your message about your staying another night. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, no problem. Stay as long as you want. It's nice to have the company. The truth is, it's been pretty quiet. Natalie, 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 Natalie. Jeez, the crackers. You see that? Are you nodding? Yeah, I am. I don't think so. Mr. Monk, you mentioned you were a detective. I took the liberty of calling San Francisco, spoke to Leland Stottlemyre. He spoke very highly of you. I wonder if you could help us out. Oh, God, oh, no. Oh, the poor thing. The missing woman. I owe Dolly a big apology. This is, or was, March Larkin. Where's her face? Coyotes, probably. She's been five days, maybe six, in the sun. Yeah, please. So, head trauma? She fell face first. No defensive wounds, no no scratches. So she, she didn't put her hands out when she fell. These clothes appear to be new. And the sleeves are too short. Treads on these boots, they're not worn down at all. What was that? The silicone packet. They sometimes put them in new boots. Well, she couldn't have been hiking, not with that in her shoe. <clears throat> what does it mean? means that somebody dressed her after she was dead. After she was murdered. Thank you again for uh, calling me. Well, of course, we called you, Kyle. You're her brother. Is there anybody else we should notify? No, it was just me and Marge. I can't believe she kept all this junk. It's like a pawn shop. When was the last time you were here? Six and a half years ago, my father's funeral. It's, it's no secret, Marge and I, we, we weren't close. Mm -hmm. You, you never spoke. Uh, Christmas, birthdays, families, you know, it's complicated. Excuse me, your plants are dying. Do you mind? Sure, thank you. Uh, Marge loved these plants. She wasn't crazy about people, but she loved her foliage. Last I heard, you opened a shop in San Diego. Yeah, it was fun. While well, it lasted, I uh, filed Chapter 11 a year ago. Home all went under. Do you need a deputy? What is it? It's double-sided tape. There was a rug here. What is that? It's from a shirt. A new shirt? I think she was killed here in this room and then redressed. You really think someone murdered my sister? They found a body here against this rock. Coyote tracks heading west, but they're gone now. And can they drag a body that far? Oh, sure. I've seen them drag a deer carcass seven miles. Shh, listen. Somebody's here. I thought I saw somebody following us. 
Must be one of your UFO buddies. What the hell did you say to them anyway? Nothing. I was just minding my own business, as being myself, and suddenly everybody wants to know the frequency. <laughs> Sandy. Well, just squat. Squat. Stay down. Oh, God. oh no. Oh, God. Oh, you're bleeding. It's probably from the bullet. Oh, oh, no. Wait, listen, listen. I think he's leaving. talking to. It's evidence. Let's take it with us. Doctor, doctor, I think he's awake. Mr. Monk? <laughs> what did he say? Floss. Floss? He means his teeth. Mr. Monk. <laughs> You flossed your teeth last night in the hospital for about three hours. Then you took a four-hour shower. I don't think there's any hot water left in the whole state. Mm. Uh, let's try this again. Mm. Adrian, when they found you, you were carrying this bag. No. You wouldn't let go of it. I think it's important. I I'm, I'm looking at batteries, engine lubricant, eyeglass wipes. I know what happened. Uh, you mean about the UFO or about Marge's murder? Both. It's all connected. The eyeglass wipes, they're Kyle Larkins. He killed his sister. For the money, of course. He put her in a hiking outfit and dumped her body in the desert. It would look like an accident. Like she was out hiking, lost her footing and fell. As soon as anybody found the body, he'd be rich. He went home and waited for the call that his sister's body had been discovered. But something was wrong. The call never came. He realized the coyotes must have dragged it away. Without the body, he couldn't prove she was dead. He had to find it. But how? You said Kyle owned a store. I could make out some of the lettering on the door of his van. It said, models and hobbies. That's right. He sold kits for model trains. And airplanes. And airplanes. What? He needed somebody else to find that body, anybody else. So he built a UFO. It was just a remote control model. Then he made what looked like a landing site. He knew somebody would see it and the news would spread. He knew the internet people would come. They believe anything. So basically, he was putting together a search party. He just needed people out there looking around in the desert. And he knew someone would eventually find his sister. It's been an honor to watch you guys work. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. One seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out.